What is it, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 23-24 Hip Parade Basketball. Autograph Limited Edition Series 11. 10 box case break. Random teams number one, guys. We only had one case of this. So, again, guys, there is the potential sell sheet hits there. And, again, guys, 30 spots. Everybody gets around seeing the NBA. Remember, it's only one case. So, only 10 hits possible in this. Uh, so, here we go, guys. Let's roll it. Got ourselves to 2 and a 2 four times. 1, 2, 3, 4. Eugene down to Chad Tucker. One, two, three, four. Thunder down to the Wizards. All right, Eugene, you have Thunder. Jimmy with the Bulls, John with the Rockets, Justin with the Kings, Bennett with the Celtics, Chad B with the Magic, Dan with the Hawks, Jimmy with the T-Wolves, Robert with the Knicks, Kev with the Heat, Justin with the Jazz, John with the Mavericks, Joe uh, Andreessen with the Pacers, Roger with the Warriors, Chad Tucker with the 76ers, John with the Spurs, Last Ball Mojo, Bennett with the Grizzlies, Roger with the Nets, Dennis with the Cavs, Bennett with the Clippers, Justin with the Hornets, Eric with the P uh, Pelicans, Mark with the Blazers, Edward, you have the Raptors, Jimmy with the Suns, Eugene with the Pistons, Lance with the Bucks, Eugene with the Nuggets, Nestor with the Lakers, and Chad Tucker with the Washington Wizards. Our USC Women's Basketball Pac-12 Champions take down Stanford number one. Although Stanford, I think, is going to be safe to be a number one seed in the bracket, but now USC is going to be a number one seed as well. Chad, I know, man. I was happy for you, man. I know you're a big Lions guy and, you know, took the chance to get him in a half caser. And look at that, man. Worked out in your favor, buddy. Yeah, I know. No, that's, I mean, that's what I tell Aaron, trendsetter, who's a big Lions guy too, you know? He, he, uh, he knows that, like, it's a little upsetting that they're going to be super expensive, but, I mean, that's what happens when you have great rookies, right? It's not, it's not just that, like, you know, it's not like, uh, the true Lion fans, uh, are buying them, are, uh, are, uh, are the only ones buying them now, you know what I mean? Everybody that wants to collect Jameer Gibbs, right? I mean, how many people now love Jameer Gibbs as their favorite running back in the NFL, you know? How many people love, you know, Sam Laporta as a tight end one? It's like now you got competition, man. So, with that also brings uh, the prices to go up. Not a bad thing, right? Getting more eyes on the lines, but at the end of the day, obviously, I, I understand it. Probably, I mean, obviously, true line collectors like yourself probably knew that this was going to happen anyways, right? I mean, those guys killed it this year, so what are you going to do? <laughs> you know? Do you really want them to be bad rookies? No. You want them to be great for your team. But yeah, no, it was awesome, man. All right, I'm going to trade the club. Close the trade window, guys. But yeah, I was really on the Lions, too, man. I mean, I'm a big Eagles guy, obviously, number one all the time. But I've always liked this Lions team. I like the culture as well. So getting Jameer and, and Laporta was pretty awesome. I'm Chris, Rangers, and five star.
Yeah, that too, man. That too. GM. I mean, it starts with the GM, right? Assembling the team. But I also think too, you know, when your GM and coach are are are, are one, you know, compatible too. I think it makes it that much easier. You know what I mean? Like, they both know what they want and what they what they're looking for, and probably trust one another as well. You know, if your GM don't trust your head coach, vice versa, you know, there's problems like that. It's never gonna work out, man. Again, just the one caser though, guys. We don't got two. So, good luck to everybody. Obviously, a lot cheaper on the price point, too. I think this was on a nice little sale. You originally, usually about a $50, bo a $50 spot, but now I think only like $39.99. So, pretty good deal. Alright, here we go, guys. Nice, we got a Scotty Barnes. That is a Optigraphs 2223 Scotty Barnes. So that'll be like a second year, I believe. And there you go, that's for the Raptors and Edward Petty. And Tyrese Maxi, there you go. That's the case here, right there. Patch autograph on card to ninety nine. Philadelphia seventy six is going to Chad Tucker. There you go. So I believe that was the sell sheet hit there. Alprin Singun. Nice player there for the Rockets. Going to John. And then we got a illustrious ink of Chris Mullen to 99 from Impeccable. Golden State Warriors going to Roger. All right, after this box here, we're halfway through, guys. And a... Kevin McHale for the Boston Celtics. First team signatures from Panini 1-1 one one basketball to 99. Celtics going to Bennett. And we got a Jaden Ivey, very nice. Little purple rated rookie on card. Detroit Pistons. Pistons going to Eugene. RJ Bear for the Knicks going to Robert. 44 to 49. RJ B. Then we got a Benedict Mather and rookie autograph from Revolution. Pacers. 
Going to Joe and Dreesen. All right, I got two more hits, guys. And a Jaden McDaniels patch autograph silhouette to 199 for the Timberwolves. And that's going to Jimmy and the Timberwolves. He's actually a really good player, too. I remember his, he lived in the shadows of Anthony Edwards when it comes to rookies. All right, last box here, guys. Remember, just only one case. And it's a Dwayne Wade for the Heat. Obsidian autographs, number 12 out of 35, going to Mammy Heat and Kev. There you go, Kev. On the board of the last one, man. And there you go, everybody. That was the break. So, again, only 10 hits, 30 teams. So, fortunately, two-thirds of you guys are not going to get hits, at least, but... Appreciate you guys still getting in, guys. Again, only one case in stock. So, like I said, look out for some other breaks to get posted up soon, guys. Thank you.